And it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Zeke with a shake and bake. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Four down, four down, check, four down, four down. Hey, 47. Here we go. Line eight. Swing, swing to the pit, right. To the right. This is Elliott. Oh, the spin. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that he would have it on the ground. <laughs> they keep it with Miller on first down. Able to corral him right at the midfield stripe following that sparkling display of footwork we saw. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And the pitch goes to Miller. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Oh, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On 
the toss. Here's Foreman. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. First half, we're back to Arlington right after this timeout. Toss it to Miller. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it second and goal. And give it to him up the middle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now a toss play. This is Foreman. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up four. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. to Watson. That is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins from four yards out. And the Texans are in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Bear Bear now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Now a good return. He's across the 35-yard line. Come the Cowboys. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock.
And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Final play of the half, Prescott. And that is going to be incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. This is taken about seven yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Jadevian Cloudy in there to sack him for a loss of six. Second down, Prescott. Got it open there, and it's Michael Gallup. And they work this well up field across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. They'll run it now out of the gun. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. time is that'll move the chains boy where would these guys be without his performance on the ground that puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon and i tell you he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along so after a good run by zeke another first and ten ten carry now for alia a solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Extra point attempt to follow here. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at 14.
So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. DeAndre Hopkins, he's all alone. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, 104 yards. And the Texans have broken the tie. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Throwing. Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. If you're a selfish player, and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Switch! Switch and eight. Let's go. Let's go. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Go 46, 46. 46. Now Prescott on fourth down. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. He's way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 
Ezekiel Elliott scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And now out comes Houston. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage is excellent downfield. Watson under pressure again, and down he goes again. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. Third and long, it's Watson. And that is incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offensive coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Spins past him. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 46, 46. this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It's a loss of two, now third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. On third down, Elliott. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And now out comes Houston. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Watch 
They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Right back to him on first down. Gets this to the 24. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Come back, come back. To throw on second is Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking to get it to his running back, Lamar Miller. And it'll bring up third down. He has had a great game defensively. He's been east-west, north-south, everywhere. Yeah, and I love how you described that because to be a great defender, you have to be able to move up and back, sideline to sideline, and he's been fantastic. Reminds me of a young Charles Davis when he was playing Mad. Yeah, so, oh, wow. Well, I thought you were going on the field, but okay, I see you. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that time out to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Lamar Miller, the 30, 10, touchdown, Houston. Lamar Miller with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have broken the tie. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock. Long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you have it, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. They're down here in a one-score game, but the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution on second down, Elliott. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. A give to Elliott. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll look to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Howe. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining.
Reset, reset, reset. Throwing now, Watson. He's going to air one out. And this is taken in at the five. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. It's first and goal and a late Black touchdown down, down. at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They come out here, and he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits on zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time. With the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This is fielded a couple yards deep. It'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Prescott now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Here's Prescott. He's going to let it fly. And this is dropped it incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone as time has run out on this ball game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Big D.